All right, hello everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you. I hope uh, you are ready, and uh, uh, today we are going to invite some aliens to join us. Uh, so uh, I hope uh, you know you are ready for the amazing uh, you know religion. It's called the religion of Allah, and as you see, the Muslims always they point their finger up to the sky, and this is a clear direction of where is the aliens uh, today we will talk about many topics but I want to start with the alien things you know many of those Christians might not to believe that Islam speak about aliens actually I found some aliens already exist between the Muslims this is a Muslim he is talking about aliens and he is saying they all exist and it's true my friend are you kidding me look at you for <laughs> the alien we are looking for so you know i mean obviously there is alien this is another alien i mean look at this so i don't know which alien i should start with but obviously the alien in Islam are something serious. Uh, otherwise, you know, people will not be talking like this. You know, actually, I saw a comment of a Muslim saying, "Well, for sure, alien is exist, but don't worry about them because they are cowards." And he continues saying, "Well, because if they are brave, huh, they will show themselves." <laughs> So I have to come, like I have to say that absolutely aliens are true and they are exist and we just captured the image of one of them. So this Abdul is so excited and he want to tell us about aliens. Are you willing to listen and to learn? Or you are here not to learn, you know? If you are a decent person who is here to learn, well, the knowledge is coming to you for free. You know? Uh, let us see what he say about the alien in the Quran, he said. What? Alien in the Quran? Okay. Aliens are confirmed in the Holy Quran. In this verse, God says that he created living creatures, not only on earth, but also in the heavens, that he has the power to bring them together when he so wills. So for me, as a Muslim, that confirms it. Aliens do exist, and one day we might get to meet them. Aliens are confirmed in the Holy Quran. In this verse, God brother, says that he created brother, brother. living creatures, not only on earth, but How also you stop in the this heavens, is thing. that he has the power to bring them together the when Can he you? so wills. So for me, as a Muslim, that confirms it. Aliens do exist. He is a Muslim, he confirms it. We might get to meet them. Aliens. I don't know why this video is not. Quran. In this verse, God says that he created living creatures, not only on earth, okay, but okay. also in the heavens, that he has the power to bring them together when he so wills. So for me, as a Muslim, that confirms it. Aliens do exist, and one day we might get to meet them. Okay, I don't know how to Aliens stop this video. It keep talking. In the Holy Quran. It keep moving. Just in this verse, God says that He I don't know what happened to the browser. Not Hold only on. on Earth, but also something in the happened to the browser. It's not he has the power to bring them together. Shut up, man! You, you gave me a headache. Okay, alien is in the Quran. And, you know, I want to go to the verse in, in, he mentioned in the Quran, speaking about aliens. Okay, let us see. Uh -huh. So this chapter, this verse is talking about alien? That's amazing. I don't know how Muslim they read, but anyway, I mean, this is what he is saying. 
Uh, let us stop in the verse. <coughs> All right. You know, I don't know why we Christians don't see that the Quran really speak about aliens. But in a, in a minute, we will go to real aliens. Uh, so the Quran speak uh, about, uh, according to him, uh, about alien, let us see what you know. Where it says, Wait, what, 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 what verse he mentioned? I closed the page because the I cannot uh, the video keep going rolling. Uh, let's hold on. I wonder what verse he mentioned. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. We are getting closer. Uh, which verse he mentioned? I, you know, I, I close it uh, because there is many, that, you know, the same thing in the Quran repeated all over, like وَمَا خَلَقْنَا السَّمَاءَ وَالْأَرْضُ وَبَيْنَهُمَا. So all those verses mentioned that Allah created things uh, uh, in the earth and what between the earth and the heaven. So the Muslims now they are saying, well, this is about alien, and I confirm it, as you see. Uh, but, the, you know, the Muhammadan, they are really weird because the Quran confirm what kind of a creation he created. In the Quran it says, he created three kind of a creation, human, genie, and angels. As you see here, all those verses in the Quran uh, confirm the creation of Allah. Here in those verses, he mentioned human and genie, human and genie. And genie are not exist. There is no proof of their existence, but Muslims, they believe in them. And they believe that those genies, they can be invisible, they can be visible, they can take a form of a dog, they can take a form of a human, uh, they can even have sex with your wife. Uh, they can take even a form of uh, angel, as you know that uh, one of them, he came to Muhammad. And genie is the same as a shaitan, but uh, uh, not every uh, uh, genie is a shaitan, which means Satan is one of the genies. Uh, so the Quran confirmed, according to Muhammad, there's a three kind of creatures, the human being, the genies, and the angels. You know, and there is many verses about the angels. Even the Quran confirm that there is men genie and there is human men a uh, 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 human man uh, 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 like uh, male. If you read here with me, you will see it says the following. The translation is very funny. It says a masculine among the jinn, you know, and uh, a man, a man, the, uh, the mankind. This is very fast translation. Let me try to find different translation. The Muslim they try to change the translation because the Quran is so stupid. So they hope by adding things is not there, will make it look nicer. What what language we choose here? Hold on. I don't know. We we exit the English. Uh, Let us see Biktar, Muhammad Biktar. Okay. Look at the translation. It says individual of the jinn, but the Arabic it says, Rijalun min al insi, ya'udun bi rijalin min al jinn. You see, the word rijal in Arabic means men. The Quran says that Muhammad was not the father of any of your men. Rijalakum. So the translation again is false. Why? Because the Muslims are confused. How 
we use the word men to a genie. This is why they're trying to avoid translation of the word men. Let us see uh, Yusuf Ali. Hmm. A person among the jinn. Suddenly the word Rijal became a person. You know? Persons. Can we find one decent translation? Let us see a different one. We will keep trying. Maybe we'll find something. You never know. What is this? Those, the, 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 this translation, he took the whole translation. Nothing is there, no more. There's no men, there is no persons. Uh, uh, some you, some men used to seek refuge with jinn. So here you notice the, the first translation, how it is. How come here you say the word men? which is the first word in the translation, Rijal, about a human, but he don't translate the second Rijal, which is about genie. Do you notice? It's exactly the same word. One saying, Rijalun, min al-ins, men from the human, and the other one saying, men from the genies. Let us change the translator. It's always good to see, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is a translation. Funny. Persons, here we go, it's a person here. No, it's not a, no, no men, no more. Yeah. So, as you see, we keep changing the translator one by one, hoping we can find a little decent translation. Oh, certain human being sought refuge of certain jinn. So, guys, the word Rijal became certain. <laughs> you know what I'm going to take the word Rijal in front of you just to show you how Muhammad and they lie and I will take it to the search engine in this website and I will paste in the front of your eyes all of those is Rijal Rijal you can check chapter by chapter. وَاسْتَشْهِدُوا شَهِيدَيْنَ مِنْ رِجَالِكُمْ Bring two witnesses of your men. This is what Rijal means. Uh, the same verse is speaking about رَجُلَيْنْ فَرَجُلُ وَإِمْرَأَتَيْنْ the, the other verse here, chapter 4, verse number 41. It says here, Rijalan. This is the same as it says in that verse we are talking about. Rijalan. Let us see the translation. And here, chapter 4, verse number 7. Rijal. And here, chapter 4, verse number 32. Uh, chapter 4, verse number 34. All those is Rijal. If you, if you see all the translation, you can check any of those you see in the screen. All of them mean men, men, men. And the reason the Muhammadan, when they translate, they don't translate it as it is in the verse because uh, it's a problem. Because we cannot use the word Rijal, which means men, for someone is not a human. Uh, because this is what Rijal means. Rijal does not, does not mean only a male. It means a man, a male as a man, human. You don't use that word for a, for, for, a, for a goat, is a male goat. You don't use it for a sheep. You don't use it for a, a, a cow. So all of those words is Rijal. What Rijal? Men. Do you see it? The first word in the left, in Arabic, this is Rijal, and the second here, the first one in English, it is men. Going back to the other one, we will see how the Muslim translated wrongly because it says Rijal, and Rijal mean men. And you cannot say that a genie is a man. That, that's very stupid. However, 
the the point of what we're trying to say now that Muhammad he is obviously confused even about his the creation he mentioned that Allah created them because in one hand he called them genie they are invisible they even eat the bones uh, uh, like uh, and the and the poopoo and Allah and Muhammad he asked Allah to make the bones uh, which we throw or even bones of dead animals uh, like uh, they, they look for us like bones but Muhammad he invoked Allah so those genie they can eat meat which we cannot see it's bone you know but Allah covered it by meat we cannot see so genie they eat it now if Muhammad will say this not true I can show you the reference in fact let us show you the reference hold on Let us see. <clears throat> Even actually, there's a hadith Muhammad he said that the genie are the brothers of the Muslims. Imagine the genie are brothers of the Muslims. Genie, which is Satan, is one of them. They are the brothers of the Muslims. Let us make it more clear here. All right. So Muhammad is saying, don't wipe your ass by bones, for this is the food of the jinn. What does that mean? I mean, how how they uh, are they dogs? You know, what what they will eat in the bones exactly? I mean, it's a bones. It's a it's a uh, dead animals. You know, in the desert, uh, and uh, they eat bones. I mean, even dogs don't eat really bones. If the bone is a is a for dead animal from long time ago, there is nothing there to eat. He can. He can lick it if it's just uh, so there is some uh, uh, juice in it still or some uh, uh, meat in the top of it. But if the bone is a bone, what can he do? He, or maybe he just uh, scratch his uh, his teeth with it. You know, he play with it. So here you see, even Muhammad he claimed that uh, uh, he met a group of the jinn and those they came from certain location. And those are the same genie who did ride him and they rode him all day and he becomes so tired. So those are an alien in the earth. We cannot find them. So Muslims, are, you know, before we go and find the alien in the sky, what about you find us the alien which is in the earth? Where we can find those genies? How come Muhammad, he met them? How come they rode him? All those hadith confirm that Muhammad even he spoke to them. Look, Muhammad here in this hadith saying that an inviter from the genie came to him and he invited him to go with them. And then Muhammad he recited the Quran for them. He, the holy prophet, he is very holy, said, There come to me an inviter on the behalf of the jinn and I went along with him and recited to them the Quran he said the narrator he then went along with us and showed us their trace and the trace of their what embrace <laughs> You know, listen, so Muhammad, he is always, he see, he, there is somebody come to him, nobody see him except Muhammad. The genie come to Muhammad, nobody saw the genie. Muhammad went with the genie, nobody see Muhammad with the genie. 
Muhammad came back from the genie meeting. Nobody saw Muhammad coming back from the genie meeting. Muhammad now decided to show them the genies. So he went where? He took them where he met them and he found them the track of the genies. Hey Muslims, do genies leave track? I want to go with you. As long as the genie leave tracks, where we can, how come we cannot find? You see, as you see, the Muslims even they saw the track. It's not jinn, it's metaphorical. Uh -huh. Are you sure this is metaphorical, not metaphoric? Mm. Yeah, metaphorical. So, they are talking about, uh, you know, uh, aliens and the Quran speak of aliens. And you know, if we ask a different Muslim, you will see every Muslim, he come to you. Islam is like a very messed up religion. Let us ask Sheikh Hassan if the Quran speak about alien. Shall we? Uh, Yusuf says, what does Islam say about aliens? <laughs> Nothing. Islam does not deny their existence and it does not approve their existence. So the Muslims, they make articles, videos, Quran, Subhanallah, brother, Subhanallah. The Quran spoke about everything, alien. And this guy is saying there is nowhere in the Quran or in the Hadith to speak about aliens. Well, I found them, as you see. Let us find the genie first. Those are alien in this earth. I mean, if we could not find the genie in this earth, how in the world we can find something in the space? Muslims believe that genies can even F their women. There's an article, actually I put this article in my book about a Muslim. He opened the door on his wife and he, saw, he found her touching herself. Excuse me. And he asked the sheikh. Uh, you know, he, he said, I don't know what's going on with my wife. I opened the door and she was doing something, you know. Uh, what do you think, Sheikh? He said to him, this is the genie. And then there's other story, the same. But this guy, he, he, he added some spice for it. He said that when he opened the door in his wife, he found fire in her pubic area. Which is very true because genie, according to the Quran, they are made from fire. So imagine if a genie is having sex with this woman and she has some bushes there. So what do you, what do you expect to happen? It's a very normal thing that, you know, uh, uh, fire will catch up. I mean, her pubic area, subhanallah, the, it is dry. No rain for a long time. Obviously, the husband is not doing his business too. So there is no natural rain, rain and there is no semen rain. All right? Uh, and look what Muhammad, he said actually about, about uh, sexual intercourse with the genie. Can jinn have sex with my wife? Is this hadith authentic? A Muslim asking the question. So now we are talking about the real aliens which Muslims believe in this earth. The hadith saying, when a man has intercourse with his wife, let me make it more bigger so you guys can see it. I hope it's clear now. When a man has intercourse with his wife and does not name Allah, the jinn coils around his earth. Ortara, I hope I'm saying the word correctly. Excuse me if not. It is the top of the penis, if in case you do not know what he's talking about. And he has intercourse along with him. So now Muhammad he have a new idea that aliens they have sex with our women. You sleep, brother? 
You go to your wife. Your wife, she is so excited. She take off her panty. You take off your panty, brother Muhammad. And you are so excited. And oops, like because you are so excited, you forgot to mention the name of Allah. What Satan he do, brother? The genie? He like around your penis. Like he right away he climb. I mean, how he, he just called him in the Quran Rijal, which means men. How those genie are men, and now they are so small in the top of the penis. Are they men or they are penis top? Condom. Are they big or they are so small? And hold on, you know. So now the genie, he is rounding himself around the penis. How he is having sex with the wife? Like the whole genie go inside her and come out? Like the whole genie? This is the same genie who eat bones? I don't know. If you are not a believer yet, you better believe before it's too late. I'm telling you, this is true. So, are you saying to me that if a person, he did not say the name of Allah, he will have a threesome? Two male and one female? I remember, by the way, a Muslim used to come to a chat room, and he always, like, this is old days, like, there was no pal talk, I'm sorry, no YouTube live. It was pal talk. I don't know if anyone remember. Uh, so I used to go just uh, listen to some Christians they are talking just to support them and this Muslim he come every day and he starts cursing the Christian he take the microphone me and like in destroy you you are the children of shaitan the Christian they don't know what this guy is talking about they have no idea what he mean by that you know so uh, the, the admin in that uh, chat he said can you take the mic say something I, I, I know I, for me I don't know what to do this guy he come every day I'm sure you can do something about it so I took the microphone, I told the Abduls, are you sure that uh, we are the son of shaitans? Can you tell us why? I know the hadith, you know, but I want you to say it, say it. So he mentioned this hadith. I said, are you sure this hadith is authentic? He said, yes, I'm sure, <laughs> very sure. So I asked him twice, thrice, three times, like the Muslim, because like, you know, they are Trinity. So he said to me, why are you stupid or what? I told you already it's authentic. I said, okay, listen, as long as you are so sure of being authentic, look what happened. Based on this hadith, the one who if the mother of Muhammad is a genie. Because the father of Muhammad don't believe in Allah. Neither the mother of Muhammad. Therefore, the one who don't pray the name of Allah before he do the ifin business, shaitan will be ifin his mother. So who is the one who if the mother of Muhammad, he took the microphone and started crying. May Allah kill you. May Allah destroy you. You are smart like the devil. You are, you are, you are disgusting. <laughs> and never come back again. Never mention that hadith again. Forever. He disappeared. He used to come every day and say to them the same story. And this is how stupid Muhammad is. The one who don't say the name of Allah before he do boom boom. Shaitan, he round himself around the penis of his father. And he do boom boom to his mother. So Muhammad is the son of who? Son of Shaitan. And guess what? Those people usually, according to Muhammad, they are the homosexual. <laughs> oh boy. So the guy is asking, is that true that Jini he can have sex with my wife? And this is another hadith here. It says. Al Hakim al Turmudi, blah 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 blah. It says, narrated from 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 blah blah blah. Okay, when a man has intercourse with his wife and does not name Allah, uh, uh, the jinn coil around his uh, author and has intercourse along with him. That is the meaning of saying the Most High, whom neither man or nor jinn touch before them. Hmm. This is a verse about uh, the, the version in the heaven. <coughs> The Quran confirmed that jinn, they can have intercourse with a human. It's in front of you, this is the Quran now. Chapter 55, verse 56. And now Muhammad explained how those jinn do it. As you see, they round themselves around the top of the penis. 
Uh, now, you notice here that in this story, the one who played the role of a condom is Allah. Is that correct? What is the purpose of saying the name of Allah? Protection for the top of the penis. Do we agree? This is what it says. The second you say the name of Allah, Allah become a condom. And genie cannot round himself around your penis because now your penis protected, especially the top of it, by the Holy Allah. Uh, me, myself, I like to use the name of Allah from now on. But sadly, I don't have a wife. So I'm not going, I don't need him for now. But in the future, if I have a woman, I will use Allah as a condom. Because you say the name of Allah, that's it. It's protected there. You know, like nothing will touch it. It is, uh, you know, shish kebab. Is it easy? You know? And this is, the, you know, this is the penalty for those who don't say the name of Allah. Look what happened to you. Hmm? You are holding it. You are going to using it now. Excuse me. And now, like, you know what? Even here you have to, uh, you Muslims, what the name of Allah have to do with this? Like, what the connection? I mean, why? Okay, hold on, hold on. So I say Allah. A Muslim, he pray five times a day. Still genie, he can go and round himself around the penis. So why I pray five times a day? What is that doing for me then? Okay, hold on. You say Allah before the intercourse. What about your wife? She did not say Allah. What if the genie go inside her without, without even you there? Can't he do it without you? Going down in the same story here, you will find that later that the genie can really do uh, uh, as Hadith says, and the people who are well aware has experienced the word of jinn, know that the jinn can have sex with a human, both male and female. Oh, oh boy, they can even f men. Hmm. They can have sex with who? Even with male, male and female. <clears throat> okay, okay, so now <clears throat> things are getting complicated. Even some, in some cases, is reported that a jinn and a human married. <laughs> but to be honest with you, this is a rare case of pleasure. Brother, look, 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 look. Disclaimer, disclaimer, this is a rare case. <laughs> Brother, what do you mean they get married? This is mean that this is legal marriage and it's halal. What do you mean? I mean, what is what, guys? They are getting married. Do they have witnesses? Isn't it Islam to get married from somebody you need a witness unless you are Muhammad, because he is a you know, is a pimp? Really, historical real. Look, look, look. Do you see the word historical? And let me zoom in because most of you are blind like me. We are Christians, we are blind, we cannot see, you know. Historical report. Well, who can beat that? Let us be honest here. There is a historical report. There is a very well known historian. He used to write the history of penises. And this is a very famous book, like, you know. Actually, I, I know, I know. Uh, Lice, you know, those bugs, they live in, they suck your blood. She was living in the panty of Muhammad and she wrote a sexual book because she was witnessing everything happening to Muhammad. She saw everything going in and out. Historical reports, and look, he is giving you even the reference. What do you want more? Do you see the reference? Now, do you dare to say this is not true? Hmm. Do you see the reference? Do you see the reference? Historical report. I'm not going to go there now because you might get dizzy. This is very stinky report, by the way. So, uh, uh, Zul Rahman Magol, what the heck is that? And even some cases reported that a jinn and a human married. Could you point out such a report? 
and here it's giving you more reference or uh, you know but sorry sorry this is not a report this is the this is the date the date of the post maybe yeah i think this is the, i was looking what is that what is that name i have no idea what's that. <laughs> as i said look when one of them he said as i said that this, this is the guy who is answering now okay the sheikh his name was osama as i said i mean look like this guy is stupid he's not listening i just told you as i said these are historical report i have read in some books no one can verify them but they are large in numbers oh boy large oh. all praise be to allah so after a few days of this question and without proper answer i decided to gather some reference which i could uh, from the internet ah, the internet is doing business now all right yes this hadith is authentic here we go the eggs is coming the chicken is laying eggs the rooster is shouting sheikh al-islam and the true imam al-jalal al-din al suyuti allah mercy on him said in his book of the jinn hey, by the way uh, Jalal al-Din al suyuti he have a book it's called the book of Ifim. I'm not joking uh, let me see if I can find Maybe we can get. Uh, hmm. I am. I'm not going to post the book. The book is very dirty. You know, they have it mostly as a PDF file. Uh, I will use Google Translation to translate for you. Uh, how many here speak Arabic? This is the Sheikh, which uh, Mimi Hijab kept mentioning his name. The name of the book, Nawadrul Aik Fi Ma'rafatin Naik. Who speak Arabic here? Anyone speak Arabic? How I'm going to translate that for you? Let me see if Google will translate it for us and save me from the embarrassment. I will use Google. Translate to English, Google. Eh? This guy here, it translated as Nike, uh, but this is not what it says. Let us go to the up. Ah, sexual intercourse. No, the nick is the F word, literally. Not sexual intercourse. That's sexual intercourse is like, you know, like a polite way to say it, you know, like, a, uh, you know, like a, a different way of describing the act. But it is literally the F word. So the guy, he wrote a book, the knowledge about the penis and how to do the best effing. And this is the scholar which... Uh, Mimi Hijab keep mentioning his name every two seconds. You know, every two seconds he keep mentioning his name. Go watch his videos. The whole book is about effing. How to hold the butt, how to hold the breast, how to push it. I, I, we better stop here. Uh, this is the this is the UFO of Islam. <laughs> And you know, like, uh, I mean, this is a very famous book. I mean, this is like, uh, this is why the Muslims, they are posting it everywhere. I mean, this is very important. This is a Suyuti man, one of the biggest scholars in Islam. So as you see here, they are saying, the true Imam, this is how big he is. He is not a joke. He wrote a book about how to do effing. You know where to put your finger where <laughs> i better behave 
I'm so glad my mom is not here so I can say whatever I want. She went shopping. By the time she come back, I will finish this topic. Unbelievable. What the heck? You know? What is that? Okay, so, Sheikh Al-Islam and the, the, tr uh, the true Imam, Ajrar Suyuti, both of them, they said, uh, 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 Sheikh Al-Islam, maybe he meant here, uh, he don't mean Abu uh, Ibn Taymiyyah, he mean uh, as suyuti uh, And then here he says, Allah have mercy on him, he said in the book of Jinn, uh, this is the reference, the, the name of the book and the reference, the page, the print. The truth it is that it is possible for a human being engine to have intercourse how it is possible muslims i want to know please seriously how it's possible i mean do the genie have the shape of a human that explain why the stupid muhammad in the quran he said rijalun min al jinn who is a muslim he speak arabic wanna call me do we have any muslim wanna speak arabic speak arabic if you speak Arabic, please let me know. <clears throat> let us see if somebody... The only one call me, he is the one who says he, he believe in Quran only. Shall we call him? <laughs> The one who speaks so fast. Let us call him for fun. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, 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 Sheikh Hamza? Yes. Sheikh Hamza, peace upon you. How are you doing, my friend? I am very fine. All right. I have a question for you because you believe in the Quran only. If you don't mind, you can help me. What the word what the word right. what the word rijal mean? Rijal mean. Let us go to the verse. Huh? Which chapter? Which chapter? Which chapter do you get this from? Let us go there. Oh, where is where it says that? He gave me the chapter of the Quran. Let you us go there. Okay, chapter uh, chapter four, verse number thirty-four. The first word in Arabic chapter it says rijal, a rijal. Chapter four, verse number what? Chapter four, verse number thirty-four. Number thirty-four. Hmm. Let us go there. Thirty-four. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Husband should take care. Let me read it. So what the first word mean, Rijal? What Rijal mean? Rijal. The first word is, okay, Rijal. That's the man. Man. Okay, thank you. So when we say Rijal, we mean a human, right? Yes. They are not like... Uh... So, what is this sentence? Huh? Depending on the sentence. Huh? Depending on the sentence. Oh, it can be Rijal, they are women? No, Rijal is man. Okay, so man is a human. Yes. So what you are saying depends in the sentence. I said a result means that is men. Mean so men. Is so is, is men is a human or they are not a human? They are human, just like Jesus. Okay. If there is any result, they are not a, they are not a human. Result like uh, are you talking about gene or? I'm asking, is, is, is Rijal, is for, uh, uh, there is, uh, the word Rijal uh, mean men. You, uh, you agreed, right? It means men, yes. It means okay, men. but men are human, correct? You say? Men are human. We don't say men for different kind of creatures. Who, who told you that? I am, I am an Arab, I speak Arabic. Okay, 
So what is your what do you got for me? What question do you got for me? No, I want I want you to confirm first because you claim to be a sheikh. So I'm asking you, confirm to me. Is the word Rijal used for a human or for any other creatures? It's used for uh, a human being. Huh? It's used for a human being. The Rijal for a human being? Yes. All right. So how the Quran says that the genie are Rijal? Yes, they are, they are also male, male genie. Human, the, the genie are, uh, they are human? They are also male and female among them. No, you see, this is male. Male is not the same as Rijal. Rijal mean men. I ask you, you see, listen, 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 listen. In Arabic, listen, in Arabic, the word dhakar mean male. We have a word for dhakar. Dhakar mean male and can be used for anything. Can be used for a human, for a dog, for a donkey, for anything. But the word rijal, and I ask you, and you, you confirm already, you confirm already, I ask you that. I spent the first five minutes talking to you just to confirm that the word Rijal is, uh, is for men, for a human, and you said yes. You, you ask me, is it for a woman? It is for a woman. Yes, it is also used for a human being. So what are you talking about? What also it human being? Be rijal be is only for, for Rijal men. is a word mean men. You said that. Yes, I said it means okay. men. Okay, can you I'm give me, can you give me, can, can you use the word men with a dog? Man with a dog, no, yeah. but genie. Why we cannot? Because in the genie. If, if, if you are lying because, saying to me that it's mean male, you just because, said, you just lied and you said, this is word mean male. But you just said we can use it with the dog. We have a male dog. Can we call him Rijal? I did not say that. I, did not say that. <laughs> I said it can be used for genes because the genes, we also have male and female among the genes. But the word Rijal does not mean male and female. Rijal mean. I ask. I just ask you. Can we say the dog is Rijal, which means a male dog? No, but genie. So how come we cannot use it for for uh, for dogs? Because okay. because it is human. Because it is human and gene that they were to worship Allah. Allah created them to worship Him in this well, earth. Isn't it the isn't it the the, the animals worship Allah too? Animal, yeah. Animal can worship Allah, but those who their book was revealed to them. So you are you Allah are mixing mainly. things up. What does it have to do with worshiping Allah? So now we find all of them are worshiping Allah. Even the Quran says the moon, the stars, the mountains, the earth, the trees, everything worship Allah. So don't mess your things up. Focus with me, Abdul. Focus. Let, let me, so let me the word Rijal, you let, you say you say it. you said everybody everybody heard you. The let word Rijal. Listen. The word Rijal mean men, and this is only for a human, and you confirm that in the first five minutes. No. You confirm it's that, it's for. recorded, it's recorded. Ask me, you huh? ask me, is it used for men? I say, uh, for human being, I said yes. I did not say only human being. I did not say only for human being. But Rijal, but Rijal mean men, correct? Rijal mean men, yes. Okay, but men mean a human being. Men? No, the gene also, we have men in the gene, among the genes. Okay, in which dictionary it says that men are not a human being? In which dictionary it says what? Where you got that Rijal can be used for any other things except a human being. Rijal is for a human being, but men, you said men, you agree that the men mean men. Okay, where we can find in Arabic dictionary that men mean not a human being men can also can also be referred because because the gene are not physical one being cannot see them they are not physical the so gene how, the gene are not physical so how the gene are not physical they, you can can you see them no what, what do you mean can, can, you, can, you, can you can you can you explain to me what do you mean by they are not physical what i mean here that they are not physical is that you cannot see them woman cannot study them so they don't have a physical body they don't have physical body like you, like no. No, no. You cannot see I want you to confirm for me. I don't don't tell me like you, not me. I want to know: Do they have a physical body or not? I said they don't have physical body like you. I'm giving an example like. Don't you. tell me like me. I don't care. Like me, like you, like a chicken. Don't care. Physical is physical. So do do they have a physical body? Do they have a physical body or not? That's why I'm taking an example like you. They have body, but they don't have body like you. Okay, so are they, they, do they have a, so they don't have body at all, correct? 
they have body, but the body is not like you. What, what do you mean? They don't what do have you mean? Body. Okay, you just told me they are not physical. Yes, they are not physical like you. Does it, no. What I mean? No, you say they are not physical. What I mean? You did not say only that. You said they are not physical, which means they don't have a physical body. I said they are not physical like you. Okay. So, so are they? Okay, like hold you. on. So now they are physicals, right? But it's not like you. It doesn't matter. Are they physical, physical or not? Are, it's, it's, then say, just they say to me, I mean, why Muslim they have to go around the bushes always? Say they have a physical body. Yes? Or you say, no, they don't have physical body. I said they have body, but it's not like us, like this. But they have body. Okay, so they have body. Yes. All right. So now, but it's not like those, it's not those like who have body. body, how come we cannot see them if they have body? How come you cannot see them if they, if they have body? Yeah. Because uh -huh. the one God also have body. Why can't you not see him? I don't understand. What? I said your, your God has one ear. Why you don't see him? Well, I don't understand. I mean, your own God has only one ear. Why can't you not see him? My God will have one? One what? One ear. One ear. I don't understand. Got what he's saying? Okay, let me. As, as, I mean, your God has nose, he has one ear, he has legs, right? Oh, oh no, we can see him. Jesus come to the earth when he came with his body. We can oh, see no, him. Not Jesus, it is the God of Jesus. You are lying. Oh, okay. There's no. There's, listen, hold on. Even if you say that this is not Jesus, when God, he came to Abraham, the, the Bible says he came, they came as a man. No. Let us go there. You, you know, don't teach me my faith. So now let us focus with me. So now, if the, so we we see we saw our God who have a physical body, and even we touch His no. hand, and we saw the nails in His hand. So now don't go there. Now, as long no. those genie, okay, as long the genie is a person who have a physical body, does that mean Shaitan have a physical body? Shaitan has his own body, but it's not like your own. Just like the angels. Okay. I want to ask you, like Shaitan, Allah, he kicked only one Shaitan from heaven. You said that Shaitan, you said there is male and female? Shaitan was an angel before he was transformed into I know, I know, but we know that, we know that. But I'm asking you, the Quran mentioned, and you are a Quran only. The Quran mentioned yes. that genies, uh, he called them men. And you agree with that, right? There are men and female among them. There where, are also men where in the Quran it says there is male and female genie? Okay, let us go to a verse. Which verse? The verse that you mentioned that it says... Um, no, you know, you see, you just way. told me, Abdul, you just told me that in the Quran it Do. says there is male and female genie. Show me the verse. Okay, let me show you the verse. Um, uh -huh. Come, come here. Mm. Remember, you are a Quran only, so now you are in trouble. People will die laughing at you if you cannot find the verse. Do you want to call a friend? Um, yeah, ask, ask those guys next to you. Ask them. Maybe they can help you to find the female genie in the Quran. Okay. Hmm. I will give you male or female. Give me, give me. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Prophet Google is not working with you. It's okay. It's, okay. it's not Prophet Google. Ah, well, yeah. I, if not Prophet Google, then you shouldn't give me right away. I mean, just tell me where. I will open it for you right now. Let's go back to me. Okay, let us go to um
Let us go to chapter uh like sort of uh, what which chapter is this? Mm. You are a shaker, do not know what the chapter it is. Mm. No, you 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 are you, 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 you just tell me, okay. Just, just give me the chapter number. Oh chapter number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have six. Chapter. From Suratul Al Jin six. Huh? Sorry, Suratul Jin. Suratul Jin verse number six. Surah the Jinn, verse number six. Okay, what it says? Read for me. Read, read it for us. You read it, you read it. Verse number six. Surah the Jinn, verse number six. Okay, and though uh, and there were men from mankind uh -huh. uh, who seek refuge in men from the Jinn. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. So, there are men in Jinn, from the Jinn. Uh huh. So there is men from the what the translation you are reading? Translation of um, let me see Sahih International. Sahih International. So it says they are men from the jinn, right? Men of the jinn. Men from the jinn. Okay. See, guys, I told you the correct translation is men from the jinn and Sheikh Hamza, peace be upon him, he confirmed that. So the Muslim translation they hide it. They don't say the word men, but he is an honest person. He finally, he said, men of the gen. So now you gave me this verse to find me that there's male and female. Where's the female genie? There are men in the genie. What does that mean? What? If there are men in the genie, then they have to be female in genie. Oh, oh okay. Uh, guys, if there is a male genie, that means there's a female genie. No, Allah, he said, he created male genie. He did not say uh, female genie. And not only that, he did not say even male. He said rijal, which means men. And you are the one who confirmed the word men. Which means they are human. Who are women? And you are the one who said that you can find me from the Quran a female genie. Did you confirm that or not? I said men genie. Then you added female genie later. No, you said you will find me a verse from the Quran saying that there is a female genie. You said that. If, if they are male genie, then they also have to be female genie. So men genie... Okay, uh, uh, so we, we spoke about why we cannot use the word men for genie because men mean a human. But I will go with you right now. This verse here says that men from the human and men from the genie. So now we have a group of men from genie and we have a group of men from a human. Now, the first shaitan, Allah, he created, he, is, he, was, he was one of the jinn, correct? When he disbelieved, he was transformed into jinn. He become one of the jinn now. Okay. When Allah He kicked the first shaitan, which is iblis, do we agree from heaven? He, he kicked him only alone. Do you agree? Yes, he kicked him from the heaven because he, he become one of the jinn. Yeah, but do you agree He kicked him only him? The only jinn he was kicked is him. Where Where did you get that? From the Quran. Aren't you where Quran? Do, 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 aren't you Quran only? Let us go to the verse. You only, tell me. Okay, you tell me. Okay. Okay, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You see, I'm going with you today. I'm trying to be patient with you. Tell me. Give me the correct answer. How many genie Allah kicked out from heaven? The Quran never gave a number. Is if, if, if you are talking about numbers, can you tell me how many angels are there in your Bible? Listen, the Quran gave us numbers. What are you talking about? Allah, he said, Illa Iblis Abba. Iblis is the name of the genie who refused so there's only one you claim that you know no, your quran but obviously you do not it is not one because the quran says he was one of the genes so there are many genes no but he was no one of no, them. no no you see you, 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 you see the muslim have low iq i said how many of them were no, kicked out of IQ. heaven listen listen how many genie were kicked out of heaven listen carefully how many genie how many the quran never gave number. what the Quran never give numbers. No, the Quran tell us it's one genie only. His name is Iblis. No, the Quran does not say only. Let us go to the verse and I'll school you. Okay, here we go. You know, we will go to the Quran, chapter fifteen, verse number thirty-one. A chapter seven, verse Shut number up. eleven. Shut up. A chapter fifteen, verse number thirty-two. A chapter seventeen, verse number sixty-one. A chapter uh, eighteen, one. verse number. Shut up. A chapter. Sh shut up. 
it's a, it's a, you know, Jehovah. why you keep talking? What's wrong with you? So it says only one guy, his name is Iblis. No. His name is Iblis, no, and this is the only genie. It does not say only because the Quran okay, says. Okay, okay, hold on, only. guys. It doesn't say only, it says he ordered all of them except one person, his name is Iblis. What do you mean he doesn't? You, you, are, you are claiming to be a sheikh, and you are saying it doesn't say only. You see, you don't allow me talk. Ah. The verse does not say only. What the verse says is that if uh, he believes that is Satan, he was one of the jinn when it when it is believed. Okay, only As one. Okay, are you, are you stupid or what? It says only one person did not obey. No. What do you mean no? Among the among the angels. What among the angel is, is is okay? Is genie by the way? This is a stupid mistake in the Quran. Is shaitan no. is an angel in Islam? The angel shaitan was once of was an angel before he was converted. Ah, into the he was once an angel. Can you show me that in the Quran? Yes. Okay, go ahead. It says uh, chapter. Uh huh. Uh huh. Allah, Allah said to all the angels, uh -huh. bow down yourself to Adam. Uh -huh. Allah said to the angels. So Satan was among the angels first uh -huh. before he transformed into Jinn. Okay. So except Genie and he was one of the jinn. It says that in the front of you. Are you stupid or what? Except when it is believed he was one of the jinn. Example, example, it also says that when it is believed he was one of the disbelievers. Hold on, hold on. No, Abdul, 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 does the Quran say, does the Quran say, and it's you who just told me a minute ago that Shaitan was one of the jinn, you donkey, you forgot. Yes, he was one of the jinn because... Okay, so what you are saying to me, he was one of the angels before, where it says that? Because, listen, listen to the verse, you're gonna listen to the verse, <laughs> it says, Allah says to the angels... Okay, Abdul, Abdul, okay. Angels. How many, let us focus, Abdul. focus, focus with me. I, I want more, something more important. How many Allah he kicked from the heaven, if there is any beside Iblis? The Quran says only <laughs> one person, his name is Iblis. He refused no. to bow down. The Quran does not say only one person. It says the Quran that. Says it does not say only one person. It does not say that. It says what? It does not say only one person. It just gives us it gives us the story of Iblis only. That does not mean that it, it is says only Iblis. all of them they bow down. It says all they bow down except Iblis. All the except Ibl all the is, is Iblis a name of an individual all or a, is Iblis a name of an individual or a group? Iblis is only one. Okay, so it says except uh, one. So here we go, guys. He gave me the answer. Uh, he's only one. So all of them they bow down except Iblis. He's only. This is, huh? this is referring when he was an angel. <laughs> Allah says to all Abdul, angels, Abdul, listen, listen. I don't know what kind of religion you follow, but you are a potato like your prophet. It says except no, Iblis. No, except no, Iblis. okay, listen, listen. If I say. Oh, I said all the cat they say meow except Susu. Susu is the only one that did not say meow. Do we agree? Yes, among the cats. Exactly. By then. Among okay, no, no problem. So now, so so Allah, Allah, is he going to punish all the jinn and kick them out or he will kick only the one who disobey? Okay, let me answer now. You're going you're gonna to listen to me because... Your fans are not going to give you money your petrol account again. The Quran says that Iblis was once an angel. So Allah commanded the angels. At that time, Iblis was an angel. He is not a jinn yet. So when it is believed to Allah, then Allah make him one of the jinn. He become a jinn now. Are you stupid by birth or you took take drugs? Listen, Abdul, listen carefully. I am saying when Iblis, he disobey, did Allah kick anyone beside Adam and Eve and Iblis? The Quran does not say that. What do you mean? It's only him who refused to obey. Allah said to him, Hey Iblis, what made you not to join the others in prostration? Iblis replied, I don't want to prostrate before a human being whom you have created out of mud. Right? Yes. Okay. So then Allah, he told him, get out of it. 
Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. He, he told him, you see, you, you just said yes. He told him, one person. Yes. Okay. He told him because, because okay. at that time is the only person. All right, all right. So, guys, at that time, at that time, focus with me. Focus with me, Abdul. I'm trying to make you go to, the, uh, to, to like, to just to take you to the airplane. So, now, only Iblis is the one who disobey and Allah, and you agree with me, Allah says to him, get out of it. And you said yes, because he was the only one that did that. Okay. Now, Iblis, he is out. Shut up. Shut up. Iblis is out of heaven. Where is the female he is going to sleep with her of all the genie that is still in heaven? Let me answer now. Hmm. Okay. I like your question, but you don't want me to finish. Okay. The, uh -huh. Firstly, Satan, they are, they are genes. Before the, Satan was an angel, they are those who disbelieve against Allah. Because the Quran says, when it is believed, it was one of the disbelievers. So that means that there are many Abdul, people who the jinn, they are believers. Are you stupid or what? The jinn, they are believers. Some of them disbelieve against Allah. No, That's even, even shaitan, you are a certified donkey. You do not know your religion. Even shaitan is a believer. You want to challenge me? He was once a believer. Now he's not a believer. No, even what? after he becomes shaitan, he is a believer. You want to challenge me? I want to challenge you. Okay, if I show you the reference right now in front of everybody, do you promise you to open the camera and do the monkey dance? If you do not show me, if you are running away from the topic, do you willing to open the camera and do a monkey dance for me? I accept. Okay, let us go there. You are All right, so guys, he accept. If I show him the reference that Iblis is a believer, he will yes. open the camera and do the monkey dance for us. All right, here we go. This is the Quran. Hmm. Do you see my screen? No, just give me the verse. Just, just, oh, okay, just I will give you the verse. No problem. In a second, people will see if you will keep your promise or not. Chapter 15, verse number 39. Shaitan, he called Allah my Lord, my God. Yes. Oh. What do you so, mean, yes? So you mean... You what do you mean, mean yes? You, you said to me he's this. Uh, you told me he is a disbeliever. This is out. Of, uh, this is who, after. Who is a believer? <laughs> who is a believer? What? Who is a, let me <laughs> look at you. You just exposed the ignorance. So Satan called Allah as my Lord. That uh -huh. makes him a believer. A believer is the person who obeys the command of Allah. Uh, well, he is obeying. Him. Listen, listen, Abdul. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why you wanna call him my lord if he don't accept it to be a lord? <laughs> him to be his lord Who wanna call Allah? Him. Listen, I don't call Allah my God. So a disbeliever is the you one do. who don't accept you Allah. Do. Listen, do. shut up, shut up. You do. A disbeliever, you do. a disbeliever is someone who don't accept Allah to be God. A munafiq, so a munaf shut up. A munafiq is somebody. He say something and he believe in something else. That's what Muslims they say. So now, Shaitan he call Allah my God, my God, Rabbi, not only Lord, Rabbi, my God. So he call him my God, and not only that, they made an agreement. And the verse in the front of us, by the way, it says that because you did mislead me, I'm going to mislead them. Can you read the verse for us? Let me let me explain now. So. Satan, because Satan can you read, can you read the verse for us? Can you read the can you read the can you read the verse? Can you read the verse for us? I will read the verse, but let me finish. The, read the verse for us, because we want to show people something very important. Okay. Chapter fifteen, verse. Verse number what? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Fifteen, verse number thirty-nine. Hmm. Okay, 15, verse 39. Hmm. James chapter 2, verse 19, the gene, the demon believe in your God. So, I don't know whether they are believer. Read, read. Verse 39. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Verse 33, okay. Okay, it says that Satan is speaking now. He says, my Lord, you have put me in the wrong and, and I will sure my, and, and I will sure I will lose mankind on earth 
and put them in the wrong in the wrong hmm. in your translation you it says them. in your translation it says you put me in the wrong yes since you have misled me this is the same thing since you have misled me misled me I'm okay thank you guys me. guys did you hear what he said allah he misled shaitan yes okay so who is shaitan in islam is is the the demon is the angel is is the satan no, no, yes. no, no. hold on you just say that shaitan himself iblis satan he was misled by allah you said that yes because he disbelief okay hold on how allah misled shaitan so shaitan is a victim of allah no let me explain now okay who is the one who misled who no 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 if i mislead somebody if i misled somebody i am the one who misled him or he misled himself okay let me answer now uh-huh the reason why allah mislead allah mislead because mm -hmm. the person has disbelief in him after the person allah knows the future if the person is not gonna come back to allah you know he sees the truth but he's running away from the truth allah is gonna mislead him by not making no, 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 him no, 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 hold on 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 i mean you are, you are jumping like a monkey from a place to place. Listen. So because 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 uh, listen the, the until the moment Allah he command shaitan, uh, he command everybody to bow down and he was talking to the angels and shaitan is not even an angel. However, the story is very funny and now shaitan he refused because this is supposedly shirk because why in the world shaitan should bow down to a human if a human is a human is not God. So Islam and Allah is the first one who teach uh, uh, a shirk. Secondly, shut up. Secondly, secondly. You said Allah he misled a, a shaitan. Tell me how he misled him. The action. What is the action? Okay, let me answer now. Hmm. You says that how can, uh, first you said how can Satan bow down to a human being if a human being is not God? Satan, they were commanded to bow down to Adam in respect, just like the Bible says, uh, people Abraham bowed down to people. Is is is, is the people God now? No. Abraham mm. bowed to people in respect. Yeah, but the this, this is but here. this is different. This is God. God is asking no. even the angels. Which which one is better, a human or angels in Islam? So Abraham bowed to the people. Listen, listen. Who is better, a uh, human or angels in Islam? Wait. So, uh, why did Abraham bow down to the, to the people? Uh, don't change topic. Why a human being should be bowed down, and he is a sinner, not? Angels actually the angel did not sin in Islam according to Islam not even a single angel Commits sin. if there is any angel in Islam commits sin Hello, you have any proof for that so um, if there is, uh, uh, did, you, uh, did you hear me? Did you hear me? Did you hear me? It, it, do angels commit sin in Islam? Those who committed sin are going to be thrown out as as, as the genie. Okay. Genie. What what is the commit sin here? The, the 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 genie, you said he was an angel, and he refused to bow down. Is that because he is a proud? Because the Quran says they should bow down to Adam in respect, just as Abraham did to the people. No, no listen, listen. Don't change topic. What about, what Abraham have to do with this I'm potato? Abdul, Abdul, what what Abraham bow to people? What are you talking about? Potato, what are you talking about? Listen, listen. Focus, focus with me. Focus with me. When shaitan, when shaitan refused to shut up, when shaitan refused to bow down, is that because he is a proud? It is because it is because he, yes, he's, he's proud. He's arrogant. Okay, he is arrogant. arrogant. He is a proud. Oh, guys, be my witness. So if I show you that the Quran says that angels they cannot be arrogant and proud, are you going now to do the monkey dance? Bring the verse, and if the verse don't, don't tell that, me read the verse. If I that. show you, you see, each time I show you something. Now I want a promise of a man. Obviously, you are not a man. So if I show you the Quran saying that angels do not go arrogant and they are not proud, what you will do? You will promise me to do the monkey dance? Before we go there, if <laughs> before, they that, before they go there, there. no, you promise me. You said you just said they don't do that. You said yes, they don't. Yes, the Quran says all the angels. Bow down, you know, they bow down to Allah. This is another question. This is, this, this is not what I ask you. This is not what I ask you. I ask you, do angels, uh, 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 do, do, you, you claim that shaitan is an angel, right? And he was proud. And then because he's a proud, Allah kicked him out. And then I say to you, if I show you 
that the Quran says that angels, all of them, the none of them is a proud. Are you going to dance the monkey dance? A promise of a man. Let us go there. Yes. Don't say let us go there. Each time I show you, this is the last chance before I send you to Allah. Do you promise me to you do the monkey dance? I said if you don't if you fail to show me, you are gonna do a monkey dance. Shut up. <laughs> Do you think really I'm debating you? I just, I'm bored. <laughs> Are you serious? You stupid donkey, you do not know two verses in your book. This is the Quran. You know, uh, uh, the, 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 the angels, they don't, uh, you know, uh, you know, they are not proud. The Quran described them that they don't do such an act. The donkey, he said, he claimed that the opposite. I mean, what's wrong with Muslims? You cannot find one. You see, they, they try to duct tape their stupid, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, religion. Let us go to the Quran. Donkey, stupid. I'm just playing with you. You are no match. In any way, in any mean. You cannot even handle me. I, I know, I don't, I don't want you to do the, belly, the, the monkey dance, by the way, because you, you will look ugly. This is what the Quran says. Angels don't do arrogant, and they are not proud. Chapter 16, verse number 49. You stupid idiot. Remember, you talk to Christian Prince. Didn't you read the article? They taught you how to debate Christian Prince. Never say yes, never say no. Tell him, show me first, show me first. Do you know, guys, why the Muslims, they keep saying to me, show me first, show me first? Because they wrote articles about how to debate Christian Prince. If a Christian Prince says to you, Prophet Muhammad was wonderful, man, don't say yes. There's a trap. Don't ever say yes. If he said to you he was wonderful, don't go for it. Say, don't, uh, what are you trying to say? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean? If Christian prince says to you, Allah must be God, don't say yes. There is something fishy behind it. Be careful. Never say yes, never say no. Tell him, show me, show me, what do you mean, what do you mean? So then, after I show them, they can adjust the answer. Or this is the son of the serpent religion. But you cannot do that with me. At the end of the day, I am a Christian prince and you are a Abdul. You fool. Isn't this your Quran, Mr. Quran only? I hang up on you, by the way, as a mercy. People dying laughing at you. You look like a joker here. In fact, you are the proof of aliens. Yes, you are an alien. I mean, the Quran says something, the alien, they say something else. We go back to our topic. Where we were? About uh, they are having sex with the shaitan. I don't know if I want to continue that topic, which is very sensitive. Most of you are just too young. Hmm. Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. This is a this is a religion, and there is there is a hundreds of millions of idiots they believe in such a garbage. Allah He order the you know if you read the story you would die laughing. And then brother, Allah He decide to prove to the angels that He knew what they knew not. What He did, He He He, he you know He. He brought his cat and his dog. He said, hey dog, your name is Susu. He said to the, uh, to the cat, your name is Meow. And then he taught Adam the names. And then he come to the angels to get them busted because they said to him, he will do shed, he will shed the blood, you know? So Allah said to him, say, he said to the angels, <laughs> I know what you know not. 
Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. In kuntum sadiqeen. Have you ever heard of such a drama? Even your God, your donkey, accuse. You know, how in one verse Allah say, angels are not proud and arrogant. And this story here says the opposite. To the point Allah accused them to be a bunch of liars. In kuntum sadiqeen. What sadiqeen mean? If you are a truthful. And look at the Muhammadan translation. Every translation is different drama. In Kuntamuad, Sadiqin, the angel, Allah, He is saying the angel, what happened to this page? He told Adam all the names of everything. Then he showed them to the angels and said to them, Tell me the names of those if you are a truthful. Have you ever heard of such a stupid test? He want to prove to them that he knew everything. How? By naming things. And then the angels do not know the names and he proved that they do not know everything. We should do the opposite. We should ask them go and give names for those things. Don't tell me. Go, go far away. And then... Ask me the names of those things which you agree upon between each other. And then I will tell you. That will make sense. What a stupid religion. I have to say that yes, we found a lot of aliens. Every single Muhammad. They kiss a black stone. And why? Because it's sent by the aliens. Why we kiss the black stone? It's coming from heaven. What does that mean? The alien, they throw it on you? What if an alien came from heaven? Are you Muslim going to worship him? Huh? The black stone came from heaven. Alien. What we do, we kiss the black stone. If you touch the black stone, it's erase your sin. And they claim that they are not pagans. And look how the pay, look how the alien looking at me. I'm, I'm scared. What, what, uh, listen, hey, alien, I'm just joking, man. I mean, I have enough genies around me. As you see, I forgot the name of Allah. And then, uh, like, what the heck genie was doing, boom, boom, with me. Enough is enough. We don't want more, you know. Enough we have genie in this earth. We don't want aliens now. Muhammad, he say any story. It doesn't matter how stupid it is. Well, the Muhammadan, that's it. And now they start to duct tape. Rijalun mina jinn. Muhammad, he split the moon. Abdul, even the Quran doesn't say that. Where in the Quran it says Muhammad split the moon? It says the moon is split. And judgment day is, is near. <laughs> Let us say for the sake of argument, at, at the time of Muhammad, the moon is split away. The Quran says the moon is split. Did Allah glue it back? Which one of the fact you believe, Muslims? The moon is splitting or the moon is glowing back? Because the Quran mentioned the moon is split. Which means become two pieces. Even the hadith says, even they saw between the two pieces of the moon, it split so far, so far. They saw between them the cave of Hara. Like how in the world did the moon, the, the, moon, the moon went down to the ground? And as long as the moon separated two pieces too far from each other, who glued it back again? Did the Quran mention Allah, he glued it back? Abdul, if you go to NASA, you will see in a certain time, according to the scientist, that a piece of the moon came out from the moon and hit the earth. And disaster happened, brother. 
So imagine if we split the moon to pieces, at least one of them will hit the earth because the, the moon will lose the orbit. And the gravity, either of the sun or the moon, will, gr will grab, you know, will grab them both. The moon will not stay in its place. And if the moon is split like this, I mean, the whole world will see it, even in daytime. How many countries around Saudi Arabia, even India, they can see it? Pakistan. Bangladesh. Nobody saw the moon splitting. People see eclipse. In fact, Muhammad, when he see an eclipse, he go crazy. Is that correct? Even the Muslim today, they have a prayer. It's called the prayer of eclipse. Muhammad, he see the eclipse, he go crazy. And we can confirm that from the hadith. Guys, did you have a good time? I promise you next time, I will call my friends the aliens, so they can join us and call us. Aliens, I'm sure you hear me. Can you send me a message? I hear you. You are invisible for them but not for me. Yes. Uh-huh. No way. Ha-ha-ha-ha. Oh, no way. Huh? You will open McDonald's in your galaxy? Ah, here we go. The American influence went all the way to the galaxy number 72, where the Virgin is located. Are you serious? You will open McDonald's there? Ah, it's different. It's McDonald's, but different food. Well, what, 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 you know, what do you mean? Ah, huh? shit with hummus. That must be tasty. You like it? Okay, may Allah bless you then. If you like it, you like it. We'll take it. I'm not laughing. No, 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 don't take me wrong. I mean, you said shit with hummus. That's it. It's perfect. You know, just, I mean, yeah, it's uh, very good. By the way, did you take like a franchise from McDonald's here or are oh, you do not need it? Ah, you are outlaw aliens. Uh -huh. I got you. All right, the Americans, they have no control of you, don't you? Yeah, bad boys, unbelievable. Yeah, like, look what they, why are you looking at me? I'm just, I'm just uh, kidding with you, man. I'm, I'm not uh, like doing disrespect or something. No way. Listen, just eat McDonald's as you wish. Make hamburger, make a, a big burger, like, a, you know, like the pink pancreas, like the hamburger. You know, do whatever you want. Who cares? I mean, just do it. Yeah, I mean, Prophet Muhammad even will... Uh, by the way, do you want to convert to Islam? What? You are already Muslim? No way. Prove it. No, no, don't show me your penis. What are you doing? Don't take off your... What, what the heck? Hey, listen. No, no, no. What? Okay, now well, you took it off. What is this? This is your penis. It looked like a peanut. Oh, you are an alien. It's very small there. All right, all right. Well, now we know that no women will immigrate there. All right. Well, thank you very much for the interview, by the way. I mean, the last part was not really pleasant, but <clears throat> it's okay. Yeah. But if you eat McDonald's, maybe that will be fixed. We'll get, uh, you know, sizes, everything, as you know. Like, you know, Allah is Akbar. What Akbar mean? Oh, in Arabic, Akbar mean bigger. The Muslim, they lie, they say mean great. Uh -huh. Yeah, in Arabic, you say, like if you have two penises, you say, this is Akbar from this penis. Yeah. You don't want to use it in your language? Why? Oh, because all of you have the same size of penis? Praise be to Allah. Is Allah the one who made you, by the way, or someone else? No? Uh, what is his name? The God who made you? The thing? The thing he made you? Joe Biden was right. Uh, who Joe Biden? Uh, Prophet Joe Biden? He prophesied about the thing. And now you just told me the thing he made you? How Joe Biden knew this? When he mentioned it, this was just three years ago. He said, you know the thing.
who created the you know so well anyway like as long as the thing he created you so I'm so say hello to him do you know Prophet Muhammad the thing oh okay oh he created the thing too which mean what Allah he created Allah uh, the thing he created Allah oh boy all right well you know I have to let you go sorry I mean the interview is getting really messed up and please don't look at us like this I mean just don't don't look man I mean what why, why you are looking like this did I do anything to you I mean you scared the hell of me I'm still young I want to get married man don't look like look at look at this picture I mean who in the world who made those pictures what the heck is that do he look like Allah anyway I hope not because Allah in the day of judgment is going to show himself how Allahu alam. you know the Muslim by the way they have an escape uh, floating float boat like you know when you are uh, going in a ship and the ship is going down in the water uh, the ship they have like a rescue boat right so those float boats like you know they blew them with air the Muslim they have that boat everywhere the second you say to them something embarrassing and they don't want to answer they say Allahu alam. How Allah enter is the creation? Allah alam. How Allah finger look like? Allah alam. How Allah sit in the chair? Allah alam. How Allah go down every night? Allah alam. How he go in the third part of the night? Allah alam. How the Quran says the sperm coming from the backbone? Allah alam. I mean, Allah alam is the resolution for you know everything. So problem solved, you know. And then you show them, you know, they say to you, it doesn't say that, CP. CP, this hadith is narrated by Tatoto. Tatoto reported from Batato. Batato say it from Komoto. Komoto Ksitakatoto. And Dotkatoto, everybody knows he's a liar. Here you go. The hadith dismiss. They solve the problem. That's it. So either Allah Alam or they accuse a Muslim guy to be a liar. <laughs> I mean, this is <laughs> be careful by the way if you come to listen to me you will get fat because laughing too much will make you so much gain weight so I'm man I will make all the ladies now leave the chat hey ladies I was joking there's no scientific study prove that it's just a theory okay however this theory is by Prophet Muhammad <laughs> police be up on him <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, if you don't like our uh, program, don't forget to give us a dislike. I'm sensitive with like. You're like me, I hate you. I'm a Muslim. I'm a specialist species. And we are discriminated everywhere. This is why YouTube supports us. And Facebook. And Twitter. And Joe Biden. We are discriminated. This is why we burn churches in Pakistan, because we are discriminated. This is why we burn churches in Iraq, in Syria, in Africa, in Nigeria, because we are discriminated. And we are very peaceful. We burn the Quran, we burn people. Eye for an eye. Because people are books too. Isn't it people are written in our book? Huh? So we burn people, because we are peaceful. So let us make it clear. Islam is the most beautiful religion in the world and alien proved to be true by Allah and his prophet who knows best. And the sun set in murky water. And we have witnessed for that. Thank you very much for watching and I will leave you with the alien for the rest of the day. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam and we prove it every day. Take care.